I genuinely cannot believe that this day has come. The the moment everybody has been asking for, Streamer Bot has got dark mode to start with. But it's not just got dark mode. It's like got a brand new UI. And I've not had chance to look at it. So we're going to be taking a look together right now. My first looks uh, and seeing what the heck it, it is. I'm, uh, I've spoke to Nate yesterday a little bit. And he gave me a heads up that it's been released and all that stuff. And uh, there's some, yeah, basically some really cool quality of life improvements um, as far as the UI is concerned. Everything under the hood is very similar. So you shouldn't really have too many issues at all. Um, you can just download it. I'll show you how to get it later on in this video and that. So don't worry about it. I'm just going to extract it for the first time. Uh, you can easily, because it's just like any update as well. So you can easily just add it onto your uh, streamer bot setup. You don't have to download it from scratch kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? Um, where you just copy and paste. Make sure you back everything up as well. I've got plenty of videos on how to back up. I'll probably do another updated video as well um, uh, of the backup. So make sure you are subscribed and you want to know how to do that. I'll leave a link down below when that goes live. Uh, so I've extracted it. And this is the folder and you'll find Streambot in there. So we'll open it. This is my first time running it on this PC, which is super exciting. Uh, we're recording this live as well on twitch.tv forward slash Andy so come and follow me. People ask questions and stuff all the time. We are trying to get partners, so if you would just hang about, you know, drop following, just you know, just chill, uh, that'd be massively appreciated. So, I mean, th this doesn't even feel like Streamerbot. Like, what the heck is this? I was just, I, uh, I was waiting for Streamerbot to start. <laughs> this is Streamerbot, man. Like, what the actual hell? What the actual hell? This is crazy. So the stuff you guys have been wanting is here. It's in dark mode, and it looks clean. To, to the point where, I mean, we all know what it used to look like. Look at the difference. Look at that difference. Just from looking at it. A, I'm not blind uh, from, from this big white box. And... It feels right at home because it's like all the um, the the Windows uh, vibe. So it is that kind of similar thing. So you, you'll you'll feel right at home, which is really nice. Um, I, I, I'm a bit speechless, to be honest. I wasn't expecting it to look this good. So this is a blank uh, streamer bot. So I haven't got anything in there. So we're going to just kind of explore it together and, and see what's changed and everything. Everything, obviously, it's got the same stuff in it. Because, uh, like Geo's just said, the core functionality is mostly the same. Better C-sharp editor, all new UI, better logic options. I think Nate said he was doing this for three months or something. So please, go drop him, give him a coffee, something like that. Just do it. Then we've got all these tabs in the old one, which is just like... Everyone hated this tab thing, where it's all like old win forms and really like... Not janky, but dated. Dated would be the best uh, thing. And that is now all kind of spread across different menus, just like the Windows settings would be, for instance. You've still got your core functionality at the top, like your main menu with your, your import, your export, and everything. Uh, that is still in here, all exactly the same, but it just looks a lot cleaner. So you've got your global variables, everything. So if I open that, again, this, this menu's changed as well now, so that looks a lot better. Uh, you've got the event feed, which um, will show you all your follows and everything like that. You've also got chat, which um, uh, is obviously its own chat window now, and it'll have YouTube and everything like that integrated into it. Obviously, I'm not logged into anything, so we're not going to be building in here. We're just exploring it for now. I will be doing some more videos on this as, as time goes on. So again, make sure you are subscribed. It don't cost anything, and it'll help me get towards that 100K. I'm miles away, but you know, yours might make that difference. Um, so we've got viewers, which is your typical viewers tab, which is usually the main tab that, that Streamerbot starts on. Uh, and obviously, I, I, this isn't populated because I'm not logged in, but it's exactly the same. It's just a lot cleaner. Everything looks more visually appealing. Something I will make sure you do is when you are testing this out, make sure you are giving feedback. And if you've come across any bugs or anything like that, otherwise they aren't going to get fixed. This is the alpha build of this. Um, actions. So this is where you spend most of your time in Streamerbot in the actions tab. You know, you make you make a ton of different actions, and it's just and then you sub action. You you know what I'm saying? A lot of people either love or hate this. I mean, I'm one myself. I do a lot of coding now, and apparently all this has changed. So I can't wait to see that. 
So we'll go into actions. And it's what I love about this is there's explanations of what everything is. So it should be a lot um, more user-friendly. For instance, actions, the heart of stream about actions are what defines what can happen and when. Um, cues, cues keep the actions flowing or stuff. Do you know what I mean? So everything is explained. And again, even little things like this, if that explanation doesn't make sense to you, feed it back. Because I'm sure Nate would want to do his best to make this accessible to everybody. And more on that later, because pretty much anybody can get their hands on the alpha build, uh, which I'll show you how to get it later on. Uh, so in actions, this all looks very similar, the layout, because to be fair, this layout worked. Uh, it made sense. You click whichever action that you want, you see the triggers, and you see the sub-actions of what happens within that one. So if I right click and press add, we've got similar sort of um, setup here. You give it a name, I'll just call this a uh, test action for now, just so we can populate some data there and, and have a look. Obviously everything can be grouped. So I'll just type in test group for now. Uh, and obviously queues and everything, we can leave that. This just looks a million times better. And even if it's in full screen mode, I'm guessing, this looks just so much nicer. Because uh, the only reason I don't use Streamerbot in full screen mode is because I'd rather like to keep my retinas. Look how much that blows my face up. <laughs> That's how bright it is. And I don't even have bright monitors. So, it, and sorry for blinding anybody that uh, that's just watching now. Um, and as you can see, it just looks a lot cleaner. Obviously, the window resizing, I'm guessing, is going to be all Gucci. Can we, can we, yeah, we could still resize these ways as well. So you can customize the look of it to so it suits you, which is going to be good. Uh, let's open this test action. Again, all the functionality is going to be the same. So all the same stuff. Everything should work. Um, so if you, say, backed up your old version of Streamabot and then uh, installed this one over it, so obviously if anything goes wrong, you can always go back. Uh, all your actions and everything should work. Nate did tell me that if you've used any like win forms in your stuff, it might have an issue. But I have um, been told that, that that shouldn't be an issue with stream up stuff. So I'll have to test that and obviously let you know how that goes on a little bit further down the line. Because uh, this is, like I say, the first look at it. So all the actions and everything look exactly the same. But I've been told that the, um, the logic stuff uh, has been changed. Uh, loop R city. Hey, Ooh, switch statements. Damn. Uh, so we'll look at if statements first, right? I'm guessing we could do this here. Um, uh, if uh, test equals one, we'll just put. Oh my god. Something so simple. Something so simple. That's amazing. Also, loop R city. Thank you very much for the follow. Um, so if result is true. I'm guessing we can just um, we can add groups. This this is like a semi new menu now, right? Um, that's, I'm guessing what we can do is when we're adding the action here. Uh, so if I just add like I don't know, core, I'll add just delay for now or whatever, because I'm not logged into anything. And then you can still move it around. I'm guessing. So yeah, or everything works as it as it kind of did before, but now this is a lot better for functionality which is amazing. Um, I absolutely love that, being able to do it. So we've got, um, oh, we can easily favorite. Is that just when it's being favorited so it comes up in your actions core? Uh, no, where would it be? Let's fa favorite sub actions. There we go, yeah, cool. So now before you, you could create lists and stuff like that, right? So that's pretty cool. I, or, I, I don't know, could you do that before? I don't remember seeing it. No, you couldn't. No, you, oh yeah, you could. Your favorite ones, but there wasn't a button to set it as a favorite, right? I don't remember. No, there isn't. I'm not seeing one there, unless I'm, I'm again. Maybe my retinas have gone right. Uh, so this is also awesome, absolutely awesome. Uh, so we've also got a switch statement, which is going to be super helpful for anybody that does the the kind of ifs and and everything like that. So a switch statement. Any coders out there will know exactly what that is. Um, so we put our, I'm get, I'm just guessing this, I'm guessing we, um, 
uh, we just type in the variable name that we want to to basically check against or argument name, sorry, should I say, uh, press OK. And then we've got cases. So what this will do is check if this variable equals, um, well, right now the default means that it will just trigger every time. But if I'm guessing, do I right click and we uh, add a case? Yeah, there we go. So if I say add one, there we go. So now it's that basically means if test equals one. And then we can add our action into that one as well. This is spicy. This is absolutely spicy. Um, like I say, this is just a first look, so make sure you are subscribed for, for our uh, deeper dives and come visit at Twitch as well because I talk about this stuff on stream and you can ask questions. Uh, let's have a look. So I've been asked about the um, coding side of it. So this uh, apparently has been improved. Um, oh my God, it's just nice to not be bright white. It is just lovely to not see this in bright white. Um, so what's been changed here? I know um, we've just been linked the change logs from TD. If you guys aren't following TD as well, please make sure you do. Uh, so they put um, uh, UI is obviously converted. Uh, dark mode, nestable groups. Oh my Shibuya. Right, so that will mean if we have created a group, right? Uh, I just call it group. We can get add a group. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my lordy lord. Because that was something that always used to irritate me. The fact that if I wanted to just kind of, because I'm one to get um, really clean with how I organize my sub actions and everything like that. And the fact that now you can group groups is going to be huge. Uh, so now I've put a delay in there. I could just be like, right, close that one down. This, this, this. Obviously, this still runs exactly the way that it did before. It runs in order from top to bottom. So when this trigger is run, it'll do if test equals one, true, false. Do you know what I mean? It runs through in order. So, yeah. And we can nest sub-action groups. Yes, we can. Uh, let's keep looking at these. Because the the basically, the... the it's one of those things where this um, patch notes don't seem massive, but because it the UI was such a huge update itself, it's like, do you know what I mean? It's a fresh coat of paint. So every single comment I've ever had on any videos has always been like, oh, I don't want to use StreamerBot because it looks like trash or something like that. You've got no excuse now. Use StreamerBot. It's amazing, and people make the best tools for it. Uh, I'm a massive fan. You got people like Nutty that's a massive fan. You've got Guile that's a massive fan now. You know what I mean? If all all those guys are using it, don't sleep on it. That's what I'm saying. Uh, what we got? New logic that we just talked about. Um, true and false are now in groups, which is cool. Um, Execute code uses the, the Monaco editor. Can anyone enlighten me what this means? Um, uh, now uses Monaco. Uh, what's, uh, I'm, I mean, I'm not that big into coding. I just, yeah, I, I know what I know and I don't know what I don't know. And that's something that I don't know. I'm guessing it's going to be a huge update. I'm guessing anybody, if you, if you know, let me know in the comments. Uh, YouTube poll handling. This was pretty huge. Um, I did see this one. So now we can actually use YouTube polls through here, which is going to be really nice. A bunch of updates and things for you to, to make sure you do know is that um, event subs and stuff for Twitch, because um, they stopped using the pub sub stuff. I mean, most of it got transfer transferred over anyway. But if anybody's got any lingering things, I don't know if they're going to immediately work because they're, they're no longer used. So you might have to fix a couple of actions, but you will have to do that anyway, because the, the Twitch pub sub like doesn't exist anymore. So that's not like technically a streamer bot thing. That's how Twitch has developed uh, and moved on. So that's just something to note. Other updates here as well, which is crazy. Uh, oh my God, there's just there's there's just a lot, okay? There's, there's a lot of things here for you to get your teeth into. Um, it's been three months that, that Nate's been doing this. So like I say, please go do it. Uh, go drop him a, a, a cheeky uh, beer or a, a coffee, whatever. Go send it to him. But you, the moment you've been waiting for, how to get your hands on this, super easy. What Nate has done, because he wants more and more people to get involved in this one. Oh, you need to change that link on that website, guys. If you are in it, I'm pretty sure you are. 
Um, but there's obviously been a bunch of different tiers on Nate's Patreon. I will leave a link to his uh, Patreon as well down below. And uh, basically, now, rather than it being only silver tier for stream uh, the streamable alpha, you can now get alpha testing access for bronze support. So that's $6 a month. So you can grab that straight from there and then get access to it through the Discord server. So do do it. Go support this this guy. This handsome guy right here. Go support him. Uh, and yeah, I can't wait to, to deep dive further into this. Like say every single thing just looks so much cleaner. Everything seems logical. And obviously just keep the feedback coming when you are using it. Again, I will do a video on what to do for backing up and everything like that. Because if you do back it up, uh, I mean, if you do try and use this in your live build, uh, you don't want to do that. Do you know what I mean? Like, this is your job, right? This isn't a hobby. This is a professional job. So you don't want to be messing your live stream up. So make sure you do back up before you start going further and everything like that. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. All that jazz and press the subscribe button. Help me get to 100k. Come and visit me on Twitch because we're doing a partner push. Okay, bye. Love you. Put your rock up the stone.